Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Palin Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Aeroswarm Sorceress in Diablo 2 Mianxo Sigma. And this is definitely one of the weirdest builds I've done. <laughs> but you'll, uh, you'll see here. So we'll start with the skills. Um, once you see the the actual items, you'll, you'll kind of notice that you can probably uh, try this build with any class, really, and a lot of different gear. So, for reward tree, um, we're going to put 5 in symbol Visu to get absorb. Uh, 1 in force blast just to use as a debuff. 1 in twilight havoc, and we only have three in which button, those are just extra points we got, and you'll see what we fill out first, but really all the, the, the big passives are all pretty useless for our build. Um, we don't really do any spell damage, and uh, can't use Bane Blade, even though it would give physical damage and uh, bonus defense, but it would um, take, a, take away our ability to do a bow, so... <laughs> One of that was melee summoning de uh, and buff debuff skills, so that's no good. On a field, um, does adds a bit of damage since we can reduce enemy physical, um, but really not not that great. I guess it's kind of a, a, a toss up here. If you want a little bit of extra damage, you could try the Chrono Field. Um, but Witch Blood offers you some life on kill. Both not great, but you can, I guess that's that's one you could kind of decide. Um, for Poison Arcane Melee. So for the melee tree, we just went down, but one in each. So we have to Blade Spirit, so we max it out. So we're going to get our summons, for bonus damage, and to, I guess help tank because we're a little bit squishy. Uh, I normally put up one immersion and one in Raven Familiar. Then we went one Loranato. Ten eventual power just to max out the physical resist. One Miasma, one Ragnomancy, and we maxed out Hive. This is going to get buffed. We are dexterity builds and this is going to get buffed by energy or dex. And our last tree that we are going into is fire. So we got one in flame front, and we maxed out living flame. But one in flame strike, one in power blast, and maxed out fire dance. This is going to give us a big physical damage buff, you've, as well as spell damage to the <laughs> Alright, for stats and items here. I basically put in enough strength uh, to wear my gear, and in this case to get over a thousand since we are w using wind force with this build. Um, there's a lot of different bows you can use, um, but your main pieces are going to need to be a uh, high physical damage bow. Uh, so you could use like a Treyu I was trying out as well, which is still pretty decent. It gives us gives the arrow swarm on striking and a lot of damage as well. Um, Hellreach is that's a different build entirely, so I didn't really, didn't really go there with that one. Though that would convert some of your spell damage into extra damage on your bow, which would not be too bad. So that would probably work with this as well. Uh, here is just you're just gonna have to find a random quaver that has Arrow Swarm on it, and then that's gonna be your move. Uh, you could use there's also a bow that can give like up to four sorc skills and has barrage on it. Probably use that one as well. Uh, but Wind Force is going to be the highest damage. Uh, for the rest of the. I'm using Dyer's Eve. I used a. Old Effigy, the one that converts skills to. So I got, I got lucky on it and I converted it to Deadly Strike. That's going to give us also Life Leech, Deadly Strike, and. A lot of good stats we want. Using two giant snuggles with this build for deadly strike and attack speed and more life leech. And then I'm using Balfrost skin here. 
This is just, just a big pile of stats that I, I put on some orbs and doubled them. This is giving us a ton of stats, more deadly strike as well. So I do have extra jewels, so all the jewels I have right now are not really needed, the extra attack speed jewels. And instead of those I would replace them with uh, probably Ohe runes for more deadly strike. Um, but for now, a lot of them are just random attack speed jewels and dexterity because they're and I don't have any more. <laughs> and then I had a few law runes in just to be able to get my strength up. See here though, I am wearing the full set of Curse of the Zacrum. This is to get the wolf stance, and so you only need three pieces, but if you wear all four, you get a lot more, like a lot of bonus shit anyway. Uh, I did think about using like Rogue Foresight, a champion tree, and a bunch of Deadly Strike um, instead. Uh, but I think we can get that if I get more Ohi runes. Uh, I would be able to bring up the deadly strike that way instead and still get all the bonuses of wolf stance. So here's my actual sp my spellcaster run. These ones I added dex. So this is this is a, a pure dex build mostly though, so you're trying to stack dex and deadly strike. Uh, you can definitely use all crafted gear here and just craft dexterity gear. Of course you won't get the wolf stance that way, but you'll still do pretty well. We have our Cersei extra bonus skill shield and the knee runes here to get our bloodlust. We'll take this so we get familiar at first and again bloodlust and our buffs up. Also, we get um, Path of Flames, I guess, from so there. We get a little bit of bonuses from all that spell damage and fire pierce just for having path of flames which is a, a little extra damage buff but we're gonna get some extra damage out of that let's just go to Adrenals here and we'll, we'll go to Ganze because we're physical and we're really good there We are pretty much Arios from here, but I'm gonna put my fire dance here. So you'll see that we're doing about 8k. And when we fire dance, we'll do up to 11k. And with that deadly strikes, gonna get a lot harder. <laughs> and also, we have our summons doing more damage as well. Maybe we can find some elemental runes. Definitely can't yeah, really face tank with this, even though we do have high regen and lots of life leech. We don't die super easily, but if we run up in melee or something, we're gonna have some problems. Because our defense is pretty much nothing. <laughs> you can see we have ooh, we have high physical resist. But uh, we're pretty much going to take every hit if we don't dodge it. We're not really doing a defensive build here. Goblin? There is. Don't run good, sir. Oh, that goblin sucked. There's a bad shrine. Mm -hmm. Crafted.
Let's see here though, if anything gets close to us, it's gonna get poisoned and fired. Or <laughs> fire damaged. Just free extra DPS for us. Also, if we're in our fire dance circle, we're gonna do even more. Every time. Die super quick, but part of it. Is this one just summer head? See how it kind of zigs around around the trees too. But I definitely think just basically just having ever with the bow or any of the high physical damage bows. Uh, is still viable on pretty much any class. And I also like the set with the wolf stance, but you wouldn't need it on a barb. Oh, I'm not really dropping much. Hey. Need my bloodlust? I still do hurt quite a bit. How am I gonna go through those trees or uh, not really? Or up in case we get yeah. unfortunate end. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'll show us something, something fun, interesting we've never seen, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess this build is something weird in itself already. For you guys, anyway. I'm just hoping they drop something cool. Oh, we'll give something else to try it. Goblin of some kind. Of course, he's gonna run into all the mobs. Now he's dead. And dropped the ammo that we could check out. Not much else going on there. Oh no, runestone. Nice. I don't have any more cisterns after that necro bell though. <laughs> So we'll go around the tree. When I when I thought about doing a bow sork, I was for sure. Oh, got a little greedy there. They get the portal up. We'll still try and go fight that boss. At least up to Gonzi. Definitely see if you run ahead of your summons too much. No. Uh, take too much damage. <laughs> yeah, I looked at I looked at the barrage and I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't seem like what I'm really trying to do. Guess it's I'd really like to crowd up another rune stone? Okay. Right. Swarm. Give in to the swarm. The arrow swarm. Found us. Where are you, sir? Are oh, you trying to be sneaky? Wow. He killed us pretty quick. Not here. Wait, what? What? We lost something. So we're gonna have to definitely. Oh, we don't have a lot of white spirits out. Try to spam. Where did that guy come from? Oh, he kills all your uh, summons pretty quick. Well, they don't have super high HP. I believe this is definitely more of a AoE farm build. Solo damage is not the best. Teleporting in on us here. We're gonna get our summons out. Though, what the heck, we just, just did some pretty high damage there. Come here. Come here, you bastard. Get back here. Try to give me your essence. 
Du brauchst das natürlich mal. I think if I get the deadly strike up more, this would definitely do a lot more damage. But uh, it's still pretty decent for what it is for a, bo a bow sork. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Um, I don't know what you guys thought of this one, but uh, let, let me know in the comments. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello, everyone. We made it to the end of the video. This is Laser Pan Games, reminding you to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out. And if you're looking for even more content, Check out my Patreon here, where I post exclusive video content every month, and you'll have access to all of that.